Glitch just posted a new leak for the Amazing Digital Circus, and this is the biggest one we have gotten so far, which leads me to believe that episode 2 is a lot closer than we think. On the Glitch Productions YouTube channel, they recently made a community post with this image right here showing a picture of the outside of Pomni's room. In text, it says, quote unquote, 100k likes to open the door, and within only 6 hours, it got to 100k likes, meaning that very soon we are going to see what's in this door. So you may be thinking, yeah, this is cool and all that we're gonna see the inside of a room, but what if I told you we already know what the inside of a room looks like? If we go over to the wackywatch.com, a video of Pomni sleeping is framed in the Wacky Watch on this website. This helps us quite a bit to figure out what's actually inside of a room. We can see a red carpeted floor and what appears to be a blue wall to the left, matching Pomni's color scheme. From this, we can most likely gather that Pomni's room is perfectly crafted to suit her. While we don't know exactly what the rest will look like, we can at least make an educated guess. Since the only room interior we have seen so far is Kofmo's, we will have to compare and theorize what Palmney's room could possibly look like. In Kofmo's room, we can see a few portraits of him on the wall, so we can at least make the guess that there will be one or two images or portraits of Palmney hung throughout the room. In Kofmo's room, we also see blue and yellow diamonds painted all over it, so of course Palmney's room will be red and blue, which was already proven on the Wacky Watch website. Another thing that we can't just skip over is how this room will be significant in the episode and the show as a whole. Well, it's easy to just brush it off and say that it's promotional material, to hype fans up, I think that Palmney's room will somehow play a very important role in the events of episode 2 of this series. If you look at the Wacky Watch website and now this, it's quite easy to realize that there are quite a few references to Palmney's room just for it to be some sort of coincidence. The writers of the show are most likely showing us this content now to prepare us for what the next episode will entail, and I have a theory about what exactly this room means and what will happen inside of it. I think that Palmney's room will have some sort of hideout in it for Palmney and maybe more circus members to hang out in and plan a theory of how they'll escape. At the end of the pilot episode, we see that Palmney is already going crazy staying in the circus, and she has absolutely no reason to stay in the circus, so she's gonna try her absolute best to leave. But she can't do it alone. Once you think about it, the rest of the cast seems uninterested and dismissive of the exit. So who would help Palmney anyways? Well, recently, Gooseworks made a post on Twitter with this image, with a caption that reads, quote unquote, that damn cameraman is falling asleep again, showing reflections on the shiny floors of the circus similar to how they showed off the original cast just before they released the pilot episode. But if you look closely at these reflections, we can see that these characters are all ones that we have never met before. I think that these characters, being new, will have the exact same instincts as Palmney about finding an exit to this digital circus. And Palmney and the rest of these characters will team up and work together to find an exit. They could all hide out in Palmney's room during night as kind of a meeting spot and discuss plans of how they can escape the circus. As we see on the Wacky Watch website, Palmney is somehow being watched through the Wacky Watch we already know that Kane has millions of all-seeing eyes all throughout the circus, a detail that Palmney and friends may not take as seriously as they should. This would mean that Palmney and her friends are all being spied on by Kane, and he knows all of their plans. This could be bad for them because we know that Kane is AI, coded to not let the cast of the Amazing Digital Circus leave, which would cause a conflict because while Palmney and the rest of the new characters trapped in the Amazing Digital Circus want to leave, Kane obviously cannot let them do that. It's baked into his code, and he would definitely try to stop them. What would happen after this? I don't have many theories for this. Possibly Kane lets them find an exit, just like he made up one for Palmney, not understanding that the exit door to the void is the opposite of what Palmney wanted, only understanding that she wanted an exit, and not the more important detail of wanting to leave the circus. So, maybe in an attempt to make them happy, Kane will try to make an exit for the prisoners again, which will lead them to the void, which of course Kane does not want them in because he is self-conscious about his unfinished work in the void. So, we covered what could be inside of the door, and of course it's significance to episode 2. But what will the opening of this door mean? As of recording this video, and as of 6 hours since the post in question went live, the goal was smashed out of the water incredibly quickly. But we haven't seen what's inside of the door yet. So what will it be? And when will it happen? I think that there's a few possible theories. The first one is of course that episode 2 will release when the door is opened. Or at least we get a release date. Or maybe even a trailer. I'm honestly not sure about this one though. Well, I would love for them to drop a new episode, I think that they are taking their sweet time on the episode just to make sure that it's perfect. A little over a month ago, Gooseworks replied to a fan asking when the new episode will release, with Gooseworks' response being, when I finish it. To me, this comment means that episode 2 isn't as close to releasing as many fans want it to, and we're only a month out from that comment, which means that not much has been done. In the field of animation, and especially 3D computer animation, it takes a long time to get even a few frames of the animation done due to more complex movements because of factors the animators have to deal with. Because of this, I'm not so convinced that the episode
episode is gonna drop early because at the end of the day, Gooseworks and Glitch Productions' main goal is to make this show really good rather than pumping out a bunch of garbage episodes. Which honestly I think is a good thing for the long term, even if the fan base is being impatient. The second option, and in my opinion the most realistic option, is there will be some sort of teaser for the next episode to hold fans over for the next episode so that maybe everyone will just be a little more patient. This fan base has a patience problem, and it shows. So to keep more impatient fans waiting, they could drop a teaser to excite everyone. And for more patient and lenient fans, it's something to get excited for, leaving a win-win with everyone involved. I think this would be a good play on Gooseworks and Glitch Productions' part. Something I think that is important to highlight about this whole thing, though, is the fact that the community post has reached its goal so quickly. A hundred thousand likes in six hours is nothing to cough at, and by the time this video up, it'll probably be double or triple that amount. What could this mean for the amazing digital circus? Well, first of all, I think if they ever try to do any sort of goal like this again, they are going to need to make it a lot higher. Because you can say or think what you want about the amazing Digital Circus fandom, but they are committed, and there is a lot of people who are willing to see any official content they can get their hands on. I think raising goals like this would also be smart because then more people would share the channel and get others to like the post. This would get even more traffic drawn to Glitch's channel from new and old viewers alike. Finally, I wanted to talk about when the long-awaited episode 2 of the amazing Digital Circus will finally premiere for everyone to watch and enjoy. As I have recently stated, I don't think that the episode is just gonna drop out of nowhere when Glitch Productions announces what the light goal is for. Maybe they will give a release date in a week or two, but I don't think just randomly dropping it is an option for the team because they would need to give fans proper time to prepare for the episode, and it almost certainly would have a release on a Saturday. The best day for getting views on YouTube. At the same time, however, I still think that the door has much more to do with being a teaser rather than being a full release date on episode 2. If we're being realistic here, in my opinion, I think that the episode will be released in late March or early April. While I would love for an episode 2 drop immediately, I also would want it to be good when it does come out, so that no one will be disappointed by the wait. Of course though, I would love to be proven wrong because I am just excited about episode 2 as you guys. That's all the information about episode 2 I could find. But if you guys want to watch my ultimate theory about the pilot episode of The Amazing Digital Circus, then you should click on this video on screen right here.